Arcane, where Riot employees saw the Lego movie and asked what if it was longer and what if it was our product. So they set to work, and the result is so much better than it has any right to be. We open up on the border bridge between Techbro Metropolis Piltover and the garbage poor person no good crime caves of Zaun. Here, two gap-toothed gals lament the loss of their loved ones, and the sight of a little girl crying over her dead mother makes Big Tony give up his violent ways, which I mean fair. Fast forward and the girls have got a gang. You have Gamer God, some dude, Vi stands for Violet, and Powder, a clumsy jinx who jinxes every job. So everyone calls her a jinx all the time. So don't screw up. You dumb jinx. Anyway, the happy flower friends rob a science house and outrun the cops, where they then find out Vi stands for vicious when they get jumped in an alley. Powder yeets almost all the stolen goods because she feels like it, and then the girls watch Guy pee. And fondle some balls. What? Then the episode ends with some sinister mistress saying what happens when you give Mountain Dew to a rat. Episode 2 opens with business as usual for Jace. Something is exploding in his face. As he passes out, he remembers when he was a child, lost and starving in a frozen tundra, and some guy walked up and showed him a shiny rock, then walked away. Jace thinks that guy and his rocks were pretty cool. Anyway, sassy science boy is mean to Jace. Be careful with that, please. I believe someone should have said that earlier. Turns out what the kids stole was illegal science that Jace was working on. The cops find out about his illegal science, and he goes to trial. Or his mom says he's a dumb, stupid idiot, and he loses his scholarship. Meanwhile, in Zone, while the police were searching everyone for the stolen goods, Powder apparently thought she should keep their remaining loot on her person. This somehow backfires. Also, no one cares about fire, apparently. Yeah, I don't get it either. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Silco sees what happens when you give Mountain Dew to a human. Yummy. Vi thinks the police have gone too far by trying to arrest people for the crimes they commit, but Big Tony tells her that anarchy bad, pacifism good. Jace decides being dead is better than being poor, but Sassy Science Boy saves the day by being mean to him again. Is that why you came? To insult me? Actually, yes. The two of them decide it doesn't matter if the council told them not to do illegal science, it's not like it makes it more illegal. In episode 3, Vi stands for virtue and decides to turn herself in. So Big Tony locks her in a basement and turns himself in instead. See that? That's Echo. See that? That's Echo's dad. See that? That's what used to be Echo's dad. For some reason, Echo's sad now. But if you thought a measly couple of people dying was sad, just wait for the really sad part, where time slows and violins kick in to tell you this is the dramatic climax of the scene. You ready? Big Tony, and I'm tearing up just thinking about it, gets punched. If you see people talking about how sad episode 3 is, this is probably what they're referring to. After dragging Big Tony to his lair, Silco reminisces about when they were brothers. Especially that time they found out why brothers shouldn't bathe together. Vi, Gamer, and who cares, decide to rescue Tony. But Powder can't come, because she's a jinx. She then goes insane, I guess but calms down at the sight of explosives. Vi doesn't stand for vigilance, so the kids walk into an obvious trap and get outnumbered, but Vi's a badass and fists her foe's fragile faces till their faith in fighting fairly falters. Skinny Blonde Boy does the do, but realizes it's not his favorite flavor. He gets yoked, and Vi gets choked, but she decides this dynamic isn't working for her, and shuts him out of her life. Good for you, Vi. Powder shows up and decides to help them out by blowing up the building they're in? Well, how's that for a Baja Blast, I guess? Gamer God and the other one discover the joys of living exclusively in the past tense, but Big Tony doesn't want that for Vi and uses his remaining strength to defend her. He tussles with the muscle but forgets how much Silka likes to stab him. After being reminded, he chokes Silco, who fights back with absolutely irresistible puppy dog eyes. Tony is forced to beat a hasty vertical retreat before becoming reinvigorated by caffeine. On the other side of town, Jason, sassy science Victor, ooh, what a reveal, use illegal science to harness magic, and the council decides it's not illegal anymore. They've harnessed magic. It's like giving computers to the Romans, and society will change massively over the next five years because of it. 
Anyway, who cares? Where were we? Big Tony becomes Bigger Tony. He grabs Vi and jumps out the building to safety. But the bigger they are, the dumber this joke is. Vi stands for vitality and survives the fall. But when Powder comes in going, we yay hooray, I killed all our friends, Vi actually stands for vitriol and is not very thankful for some reason. Vi then gets kidnapped by the police and Powder hugs Silco because in her time of need, he was the only one who helped her kill all her friends. And that's the end of the first set of episodes. Please like and please subscribe to see parts two and three.